Right. So we are in the next session now for like representation of houses. Now it is turn of eighth house. Eighth house is uh, like first the basic things. It is last of Rajasik house. It is fourth Rajasik house. Okay. First four houses are Tamsik by nature. And the next four houses by Rajasik by nature. It is uh, Moksha house. Moksha houses are four, eight, twelve. Okay. So it is eighth house, Moksha house. Then it is also like Dushtana house. Again, as I said, Dushtana from our perspective, uh, we don't want those things to happen in our life. That's why it is named as like Dushtana or evil house. But uh, even evil activities or evil, you know, what we think as evil also has some importance in our life. I always say that uh, we learn our best lessons in the worst time period. Okay, so if we don't go through the worst time period, we may never get our best lessons in life. Okay, so this is what uh, like uh, Dushtana house is, uh, like a uh, second of Dushtana house is eighth house. Eighth house is like uh, generally taken as the house of sexual intercourse. Okay. That is the very basic level and least representation of eighth house. Okay, eighth house is much beyond that. Okay, uh, we will discuss what all things like eighth house represents. Sexual intercourse is one of them, but it is not the only thing. Okay. Now again, if we go into like chronological order. Child took birth, he went to the family, then he got, like started roaming around in the neighborhood, then he stayed with the mother, okay, then he went to education, then uh, he started uh, his daily work life in the sixth house, then he got into relationship. Eighth house comes when we get into a relationship or we have uh, like a family, husband, wife, children, and all. <clears throat> the first thing is that our deepest fear is losing them, losing all we have got. Okay, that is our deepest fear. Eighth house represents your deepest fears in life. This is one of the reason why like the eighth house is Tushtana house. Whatever is your deepest fear, that is like eighth house. Suppose someone has uh, like a stage phobia, okay? That that will become like uh, eighth house related matter. Suppose uh, someone has like uh, phobia about anything like uh, traveling and all or heights and all, that is also fear. That is also your eighth house. Whatever is your fear, whatever is your deepest fear, is eighth house. Eighth house represents accidents, sudden events. Eighth house represents injuries, surgeries. That is why also why like uh, uh, these are eighth house related matters because we are fearful about these things. Okay, no one wants these things to happen, and that is what makes eighth house as the most dushtana house, like highest level of dushtana. Why? Sixth house also represents some negative, uh, negative things or events. Eighth house also represents something negative. Twelfth house also represents something negative. Okay. Six, eight, and twelve. Now, sixth house is your loans. You can prepare for your loans. I, I can think that, okay, fine, uh, this... Uh, I am taking this much of loan. This is my plan. And this is how I am going to pay off. Sixth house represents your health issues. I can take preventive medication. I can be proactive in my healthcare matters to to like keep myself in good health. Twelfth house is your expenses, losses. 
suppose i know that uh, five years down the line i will have a major expense coming my child is going to college okay so i will have a major expense coming so let let's start uh, saving money from now onwards so that i can handle that major expense eighth house represents sudden events something happening suddenly in your life okay or out of the blue you have no idea okay what is uh, what is happening okay someone uh, someone is going somewhere in like marriage party and he is meeting with an accident okay someone is like uh, going for uh, for a vacation they have some issue with uh, some conflict some uh, some like uh, dispute with someone and they end up in like having a police case there okay on the trip so this is something like eight houses for which you can never plan so it remains the unpredictable house no one can say that they can decode eighth house as uh, perfectly because if it is if it is uh, like a decoded perfectly it is no more a house of secrecy secrecy is up to that time till the time it remains secret right if i if i like uh, uh, if i can decode the complete secret it is never never secret so this is why 8th house represents secrecy you never know when a sudden event is coming at most you can give a time range that within these 6 months you should be careful okay but you cannot know what will be the day within those 6 months when the event is going to happen okay so that is why like eighth, eighth house is the house of secrecy and it is unpredictable house you can never predict what is coming out of eighth house what is coming out of the sign is scorpio because scorpio is also also the eighth sign has the eighth house energy what uh, what they will end up in doing they can be like very secretive people they can be like uh, if someone has too many plans in the 8th house or too many plans in scorpio they can be like highly secretive people <clears throat> then 8th <laughs> 7th house is relationship so 8th house becomes relationship benefits this is why it becomes the house of sexual intercourse because sexual intercourse is also one of the benefit but it is not the only benefit of relationship you can do many things together with your partner besides sex okay so that is uh, um, people taking properties together joint properties okay with their partner or people is starting their business together okay that is also a relationship benefit so whatever you build along with your partner is your uh, like a relationship benefit then Eight, seventh house is uh, business. Eighth house is business benefits also. Okay, like I started my business in the seventh house. Okay, I started my business and all, and I have great plans and all. But my eighth house is not uh, not like very very strong. What it shows that I, I although I started the business, I will not be able to sustain it over a long period of time. Eighth house represents life of your business. Okay, how long you are going to sustain the business? Okay, because you need to have business benefits. Then only you can sustain the business. If I start a business and that is business is not giving me any benefit, how long I will keep? How long I can keep it without any benefit, without any return? How long I can keep that business? Okay. so that is uh, that is why eighth house strength is also seen from for like business benefits or someone who can be like very successful in business or not so successful in business okay eighth house is serving other people because seventh house is other people serving other people this is another way of saying that uh, because business benefits come from serving other people only okay i will get i will start my business i will start serving people there and i will start getting the business benefits eighth house represents other people wealth why second house is your wealth 
So eight houses, other people wealth, wealth of everyone else other than you. Okay. So eight houses like that uh, vault of a bank. Okay, which uh, which has like a lot of money and all that. So it represents banks. It represents uh, financial organization, stock market. Okay, betting, gambling, because then those are sudden events. Okay, then betting and gambling are sudden events. Whenever someone has certain impact on eighth house, they they should not go for like betting, gambling, or quick money making schemes because Saturn is uh, long term. Okay, they should go for long term investments. Okay, even if they want to go for stocks, they don't should not go in trading, intraday trading and all. They should go for long term investments in the stocks. Okay. Plus, uh, as I was saying, it is uh, uh, like financial markets. It is also a house of taxes. Okay, because taxes also other people money. It is also professions related with taxes like auditor. Okay bankers financial institutions and all that is also seen from eighth house uh, someone who is uh, someone who is in like this uh, cacs kind of like work okay that is also like eighth house obviously it is the most important house for someone like me who is in astrology okay astrology numerology palmistry a tarot card reading, Akashic records, whatever. Okay, eighth house is like any occult matter, any occult hidden matter. Okay. Now, what what does occult means? Occult subject is that subject which is not normally taught in schools and colleges, and for which you have to you have to like uh, make your own effort. Even this day and age, all these things are not very common, okay? For very rare people, uh, like uh, astrology can be their first choice as a career, okay? Or uh, like uh, very rarely a parent will, will be of, uh, like, uh, of this view that I want my child to become an astrologer or numerologist and all that. That is very rare, okay? Otherwise, it is always a second choice. Like I, even with my case, I was into law and then I came into Western law. Okay. So it is always the second choice. Okay. Normally, not always, like, but normally exceptions can be. Now, so occult side of life can be seen mystical, something which you can ne never understand. Mystical events. It represents like a, a spine area of the body. So it represents Kundalini energy, it represents Kundalini activation and having like mystical experiences like Kundalini activation, out of body experience and all, that all is seen from the eighth house. Then, because that is also unpredictable, no one can predict when are you going to have your Kundalini activation. No one can predict what this person is going to have an out of, out of body experience today. Okay, that that can never happen. So this is also why eighth house represents these things. Then eighth house is also your inheritance. Okay, how how much you will inherit, or how well you will inherit, or how happy you can be with your, with your inheritance is seen from eighth house. Uh, it is also house of legacy. Okay, eighth house and Scorpio. If these two signs are from and these two like entities are prominent in the chart, like if I have too many planets in the eighth house, or I have to, like a Scorpio sign, very important. They will always think about their legacy. Okay, how I will leave this and this world. Okay, how people will remember me. Okay, how I can benefit people or serve people even after my death. Okay. That is uh, that is one of the concern of like eight house prominent people. Okay, so that is uh, that is also like a legacy, and they and they think about. It. Okay, it is also legacy also, as it is about uh, hidden matters, hidden subjects, and all. It is also a prominent house of psychology. Okay, so apart from astrology, numerology, and all these things, it is also house of psychology. Okay.
then mm, did I miss something? Secrecy mysteries hidden from outside world as well. Also, right. Okay. Second house represents your family. So eighth house represents your spouse family, your partner's family. Okay. So whomsoever uh, I get into relationship with their family is seen from like uh, uh, like uh, eighth house. Okay. Because it is the same thing. First house is you. Second house is your family. Seventh house is your partner. Eighth house is partner's family. Uh, things under underground. This is also like interesting. Hidden occult matters. Hidden matters are underground. Okay, underneath the earth. So anything which is underneath the earth is also seen from like uh, eighth house, which are like uh, gemstones, coals, petroleum, agriculture, graveyards, dead bodies, and all. Uh, people who work with uh, in graveyards and all in funeral homes and all. They, they are all seen from like uh, this eighth house. Uh, people who work in like mortuaries and all, that is also like very much eighth house related uh, related event, okay? Uh, or place. Uh, it is house of longevity, understand? Uh, this is also important. Second house is Marka house. Seventh house is also Marka house. Eighth house is the house of death and rebirth. Okay, death and rebirth. Means someone is going through a, like a drastic major change in life. That is why Scorpio is the sign of major changes in life. Eighth house is the house of major changes. So eighth house represents major changes in your life that are that are going to like uh, impact your overall life. Okay, it can be anything. It can be like changing your uh, changing your citizenship, changing your name, changing your personality, changing your looks, changing your profession, changing your country, anything. Okay. So any major change um, in life is is like eighth house related matter. Okay. Okay. Then longevity. It is like uh, eighth house strength shows how long someone is going to live. Okay. Eighth eighth house strength. If eight thousand is like uh, uh, like this is uh, this is one of the question people ask how how long I will live what is my age uh, life span and all mm -hmm. I personally don't think that anyone can like perfectly predict it okay mm -hmm. at least I cannot predict it uh, I accept that okay fine I may not be good enough to predict uh, someone's age but uh, largely it is uh, it is like very difficult maybe some enlightened one and some enlightened master can tell you but uh, it is not uh, within capacity of person like me okay uh, then eighth house is like uh, uh, this strength of the eighth house or eighth eighth lord shows how how long you are going to live okay how long uh, how much is your longevity and all Okay, so if uh, eighth lord is a strong, maybe person may may live a very long life. Why uh, it will be a advanced concept? We will not talk about. It. Okay, uh, so second house and seventh house represents death or death-like circumstances. Eighth house represents death and rebirth. Okay, going through a like major change in life. And uh, this, uh, where you are completely transformed, like I was in law and I came into astrology, I'm completely tra transformed. This is very much a house related event or a Scorpio related event. Plus it represents your longevity, how, how long you are going to be. Uh, right.
This house represents chaotic places like uh, war zones, battlegrounds, coal mines, and etc. Okay. Or you can say that if wherever eighth lord is sitting, that place can become very chaotic for you. Okay, that place can become a war zone for you. Uh, For professions like astrology, uh, it is like uh, main house, okay? For professions like astrologers or mystics and all, and this is like main house. It is also a main house for any profession of surgeries and uh, surgeons and all and uh, psychology, okay? So these are like uh, important uh, terms, uh, important representations of this house. Uh, any work of uh, like investigative nature, spies, okay, detectives, they are seen from 8000 Scorpio, okay. So it is also house of in laws, okay. Understand that, uh, yeah, we discuss uh, spouse family that is in laws, okay. Uh, spies, detectives, and all plus any research oriented work. Suppose someone is doing PhD and all, eight thousand is very important for them. So these are like uh, main important representation. As I said, now if uh, when we look at all these things, sexual intercourse seems the most basic representation. Okay, of eight thousand, it is. It is like uh, the most tamasic level of representation of 8th house. There are other higher representations also. Rasik and Sattvic. Mysticism is Sattvic uh, level, of, uh, uh, level of this uh, this house. It is like uh, someone who is a very mystical person and you can never understand them. And when you understand them, means you, uh, you have your evolution has happened. You reached up to his level. Okay, so that is what like eighth house represents very secretive and mystical people like um, mystics, uh, like Sufi mystics and all gurus. Okay, real gurus. Okay, and that is uh, that is seen from like eighth house. Teachers are uh, ninth house. Okay, so this is what. Uh, Uh, this is what uh, this uh, eighth house represents. Okay. Uh, so we will meet again in the next session and we will discuss the ninth house. Okay. That will be the next video. In the next session in this series, uh, also, like I will uh, talk about Gandanta. Okay. Uh, Gandanta degrees, Gandanta planets in the next session. Take care all the way.